thing of importance. Don't forget, my DNA is on record, even at police stations. Now, the police probably need to contact the Ray family and ask them to provide a DNA sample of theirs just so they can compare my DNA that the courts have. Because remember, when, I, when they kidnapped me from California, they stole like 13 test tubes of my blood within a short period of time when I was in Indiana. You know that, right? The medical industry, uh, uh, Wisher did, and so did Community East. They stole, well, when they kidnapped me, they tried to murder me with a satellite. And the ladies took like six test tubes of blood in the ambulance when they tried to murder me with a satellite. Then, and she's like, oh, you got such beautiful veins. Like she was like psycho and shit. I don't know what the fuck it was all about. But, you know, they tried, they hit me in the chest and tried to suffocate me with a satellite over at Audubon Street. And then the lady forced me to go with her in the ambulance. And she was sticking needles in me in the ambulance. I don't do nothing with needles. I don't do no drugs. I don't do nothing like that. But uh, in reference to the information, then at Community East, they stole another six test tubes of my blood. And the man even put salt water in my vein or something is what he said. He was putting salt water in there. there there's, a, there's a medical record about it. That was an attempt to murder from satellite. It's on record. I even went to the hospital about it. It's a multi-trillion dollar lawsuit, too, from them trying to murder me. There's a medical report about it. Oh, yes, there is. I haven't received any compensation yet. And there's medical reports of people accusating against me. As their way of trying to murder me and trying to sexually assault me and trying to get away with things that they had done to me. All the reports, you know, I don't hang out with nobody. I'm a celebrity and entertainer. And I'm the child of my biological parents. So they need to get DNA samples of the Ray family in court. Because my DNA is already on record. And they stole, you know, 13 test tubes of my blood in Indianapolis. When I first, when I, when they forced me back here, they kidnapped me from California. Some of the Ray family members was involved with either Frank Sinatra or some politician. Even Kaiser Permanente has some of my blood out there at their office in California. And the Warren Warner Brothers Studios Hospital even has DNA of mine on sample. Or not sample, but on record. So does Walt Disney World. The Screen Actors Union possibly has DNA information of my identity, too. Duke Farms probably has DNA information. So don't forget, these people trying to fake their DNA, whoever these people are, or whether it's somebody from the Ray family or somebody associated with the Ray family, because I'm not really from the Ray family. And my mother had all the family members of the Ray family in court. Didn't she? And the downtown court records would show that, wouldn't they? So in reference to the information of people confusing my identity with somebody from the Ray family and somebody that made the false Greenfield document, whoever made that document, we know Frank was involved in that because my mother had sent the truancy officer over to the Ray family house in Richmond or Union City or Richmond. Well, it was probably Union City, probably. Where they were holding me, where Frank was holding me hostage over there. There should be a police report of the school system that has a report of Doris Duke sending the police or the IPS or whatever school system it was, truancy officer, over to the Ray house at whatever location back in the 80s. 
So that needs to be submitted into court too. You know that, right? My DNA is on record in the courts. Don't confuse me with anybody else's child or anybody else falsely claiming that I was their child. Just because you tried to, just because these people tried to put their name on my identity, I don't even look like nobody from their family. And I'm Jewish and Catholic. And they're Christians. So understand the real facts of law. And there are real facts of law that it's illegal for Christians to try to call a Jewish or Catholic person their child. Make sure those uh, court cases get published in the media. Public information.